Hi families, Carrie Leroy here from Teaching and Learning. We are moving and shaking here, and in fact, today I'm filming from my office. Now, hopefully Monday or Tuesday, you had a chance to pick up your student's tech tote with their new Chromebook in it that they'll be using this year. Please make sure your student uses this whenever they are on distance learning. We need students to use our district issued Chromebooks because we have all the programs set up, and if there needs to be an update, we can do that at the district level. So no personal devices for distance learning, please. I also need you to have your student log in before our tech dry run on Thursday. So tonight or Wednesday or Wednesday evening, have your student log in and set their new secure password so that Thursday morning they're ready to go. Our times for our tech dry runs are going to be at 8 a.m. for first and second graders, 9.30 a.m. for third, fourth, and fifth graders, and then 9 a.m. for all sixth through 12th graders. And sixth through 12th graders are going to sign in with their first period teacher for this initial tech dry run. I have a feeling you're on information overload. I get it, but we're just getting to the fun stuff. So once your student has gotten their Chromebook, you will need to connect to the Wi-Fi. Whatever Wi-Fi you have, you're going to want to click on the little upside down triangle in the bottom, and then go ahead and get on your Wi-Fi with your password. If you're using a hotspot from us at the district, the Chromebooks will uh, link automatically. You don't have to worry about that. So once you get connected by Wi-Fi, you can have your student log in and go through this process. And they will end up on what we call the school landing pages. So it will look something like this. And your students will have some tabs that they're going to need to go to first. But I just want to show you a little bit about this. So we have our core instruction right here. And this has some curriculum links on there. We have some learning extensions which is some extra stuff that they can do uh, on their own learning time in the afternoons, possibly. We have some family resources for you that links to important and helpful documents regarding some of our curriculum. And then we have some social and emotional learning here to help you, some websites, links to websites, and some documents to help you around that topic. The most important part of this landing page is Google Classroom. Right up here, we even have it in bold font. Your student is going to go in to Google Classroom the first time on the tech dry run or on their first day of school where they are going to be able to join their teacher's class and then get on a Zoom or Google Meet meeting, which is the live meeting. So you're going to want your student to go into Google Classroom Hopefully you can see that there. And then they will have a class or classes. And all you need to do is have them click join. And then they will be in their new virtual learning classroom. On the first day and on the tech dry run, teachers are all going to post a link to their Zoom or Google Meets sessions. So these are virtual meetings for their synchronous lesson times. And you have probably heard the term synchronous and asynchronous and wondered what they mean. So think of it like this. Synchronous means in sync with your teacher. They're live with their teacher. And then asynchronous is doing lessons at a later time without the teacher live teaching to them. Now, we're going to find the very top stream message right there and in this class that I made up it says live lesson link please click to join our first virtual meeting and there will be either a zoom or google meet links those are just companies that host live meetings and your teacher might have a different message in there but they're all going to have that blue hyperlink and their student needs to click on that to join that the first time they get into Zoom, I do have to tell you, you need to add it to the Chromebook. It was just a very quick, easy step. So 
it says on here install from Chrome Web Store on this button. So you're going to click that. And then it says Chrome Web Store, zoom. Over here is a blue button that says add to Chrome. Go ahead and click that. And then it says add zoom in this box up here. And you want to say add app. Don't hit cancel. Add the app. And it's doing its thing. It's thinking. And now it opened up. We did it. Just a few clicks and you're in. Here's another important step. Your student is going to need to type in their first and last name. This is going to be the display name on their Zoom or uh, caption. And so you're going to need to have it accurate. This is how teachers are going to know who's joining their class and then also how they're going to take attendance. So if you type in your student's first and last name and say join, then your teacher will be there to admit you in to their first lesson on our Tech Dry Run. Again, please reach out to me or to your student school if you have any questions. We're all in this together.